Hello, my name is Ann Brock. Today we're going to focus on a couple things that just help the service desk analyst be more productive. To do this, we want to meet Emma. Emma is part of a world-class support organization. She really focuses on you know, making sure IT helps the business, and she always likes to leverage new, new tools, latest tools, to make sure that that happens. What if users could easily interact with IT in more than one way, and crowdsourcing could be leveraged to resolve issues? Also, what if your service desk has tools at their fingertips to make them more productive? So Emma is using the Salesforce One app. This is an app from Salesforce that allows mobile, mobile access to Salesforce objects. Not just about BMC Remedy Force, but any Salesforce object that might be in the system Emma's going to be able to get to. We can see that over on the left here. So Emma is traveling into the office. She's still on her commute and she wants to do something. So she's been working her queue, looking at the broadcast, all that kind of thing through the Salesforce One mobile app. Well, let's say uh, Emma earlier got a message uh, pop up about her VPN connection on her mobile, her certificate's not right or something like that. Well, Emma wants to go ahead and put a ticket in on that so somebody could be working on that or maybe somebody else in the group can let her know what's going on. So she's going to go to her chatter feed. Chatter is a social app that allows you to share things among groups and among people. You can have private chatter feeds or public chatter feeds. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and let everybody know in the service test group that her VPN on her mobile, her certificate seems to be expired. So she's going to go ahead and post to this chatter feed. So she went ahead and put that in and she's actually going to hashtag this because now she can go ahead and create a ticket at the same time she's asking for help from, from her peers. So she's going to go ahead and put in a help tag. She's going to share this. It's going to be out there on that chatter feed. If anybody can help her, they can go ahead and respond to her, anybody who subscribed to this feed. And in case nobody can figure it out, she has gone ahead and opened up a ticket automatically that is in the queue and can be worked as well. So you can see how Chatter can certainly help a service desk person become more, um, more productive, get help from others, and really have things happen. The other thing we're gonna look at here in terms of Emma's productivity is around broadcast. Emma gets to the office finally, her commute's finally over, and she had noticed a broadcast about webmail being down. So she comes to her Remedy Force console and opens up that broadcast. She's curious because she's the owner of webmail, so she wants to know how many people had run into the error. She can go down to her record details, and she can quickly see how many incidents are attached to it. Some of them open, some of them have already been closed. Well, Emma did fixes this and webmail is now back up and she wants to close all those incidents quickly, she doesn't have to go to each incident individually. She can go ahead and go to her close button. You can see right down here, she can close all the linked incidents at one time. In most cases, when you have something like webmail being down, you're gonna get a lot of tickets on it. So by hooking them to the broadcast and then having Emma close the broadcast and closing the linked incidents, you certainly help your technicians be a lot more productive and your end users are kept in the loop because they'll get uh, notified when that broadcast closes and their incident is closed and they'll know that webmail is back up. So that's another tool that Emma has at her fingertips that can help her be more productive. So this was a quick walk through, but what we showed you was that there are more than one ways to interact with IT. It's not just phone, it's just not email, it's not just self-service, you can even do it through your chatter feed, which has the advantage of maybe getting your answer crowdsourced instead of having to wait for somebody in IT to figure it out. We also showed you some tools that make the service desk more productive. Hopefully that was useful.